Hey everybody, today I'm going to walk you around a 2005 property out in Cyprus. Uh, overall, the property is in pretty good condition. There's three big things that I'm going to show you today that affect what I call livability, and that is um, you know, when the, the buyers move into this property, what's going to cause them extreme headaches such as AC not working, uh, plumbing not working, electrical not working. Today we have all three of those. Uh, total repair is going to be about $4,000, and so uh, let me show you what I found today. Okay, first, the first thing that we always do at A-Action is we start our inspections in the kitchen, and we turn all the appliances on. And generally that tells us, do we have electricity, do we have water, and do we have gas? Well, in today's case, I turn on the kitchen sink, and we get a trickle. That's because the water has been turned off to the property. All that's coming out now is the residual water that's left in, li in the lines inside the home. But I know just from my first pass that the, the water has been turned off to the property. So, uh, which is not a, uh, a is not atypical of a vacant home, but uh, we can't do a full inspection when the water is turned off. So I called the clients and explained the situation. They wanted to go ahead with the inspection and then they'll just cover all the, the plumbing stuff at a later date. So um, on my first pass of the home, I just did a visual inspection of all the bathrooms, laundry room, kitchen, and notated in the report what I saw visually without being able to run the water. Then I get to the garage and I see why they turned the water off. Let's go check that out. So we get to the garage area and I assume this is why they turned the water off. These water heaters are original to the home, 2005. As you can see, there's two of them and both of them uh, have been leaking for quite some time. The pans are full of water. Uh, there's a lot of rust and corrosion on the bottom. Normally we, uh, we don't necessarily take the burner plates off of the water heater, but since these are inoperative, I want to show you the amount of corrosion and rust that has built up on this water heater. So, as you can see, here's water heater number one. First glance, it looks pretty normal. But then we look down at the bottom and we can see it's full of water. So let's take off the burner plates and you can see the amount of corrosion that has built up. So this is uh, leaked all the way through the tank and that's why we have a pan full of water. Uh, this is the second water heater. This one looks even worse. Then the first one, again, it's, it's full of water. So obviously both of these water heaters are going to need to be replaced. Um, generally when we're talking two water heaters, we're talking about $2,000 for a plumber to come and install two water heaters. Generally when I have a home that I'm inspecting that has two water heaters that both need to be replaced, I recommend going tankless. Now this home only has uh, two full bathrooms, one half bath and a kitchen. So two water heaters are a little bit overkill. So I'm gonna recommend to my clients that they go ahead and go a, with a tankless water system. It's gonna be more energy efficient, save uh, the problem from having this happen again to their property. So about $2,000 to replace both of these water heaters with two new water heaters or with a tankless system. Let's go check out the next thing. Now the next thing that we're gonna talk about is the AC system, which we know uh, we're getting to the summer months in Texas, absolutely important. One of the most important things in a home is having an AC that's gonna cool properly. Uh, this home actually has a brand new uh, Goodman AC unit from 2018, and uh, so everything's installed properly, even has a P-trap on the drain line, which I don't see very often, but, and this happens sometimes with new ACs that get installed and then um, the home is vacant so they turn the thermostat way up so the AC doesn't run very much is that it needs more Freon and when the AC companies install the system and they charge with Freon their gauge will read full and then as the Freon settles out throughout the system it's actually not full of Freon and so this uh, AC is not cooling properly it's been running constantly since I've been here hasn't really cooled the house down uh, uh, at all um, and it's, in fact the temperature is reading the same on the thermostat as when I got here and so uh, to to charge an AC system with Freon that's brand new nothing else needs to be replaced is about $250 and so we're going to recommend that they go ahead and uh, put some more Freon into this system. Okay the last thing that we're going to talk about is the panel box. Uh, this panel box is located on the exterior of the home and it is not weather tight and so when I opened up the panel box and took off the front cover plate I noticed inside that there's a lot of water uh, staining, water damage and it's causing some rust and corrosion on the breakers, uh, almost all the breakers and even the main breaker of the panel box. So this is something that where most of the breakers if not the entire panel box is going to need to be replaced 
Uh, if you're talking about replacing individual breakers, it's between $35 and $60, uh, depending on the brand of breaker. And to replace the whole panel box, one of this size is going to be about $1,200 to $1,500. Uh, to replace the whole thing, make sure it's uh, weather tight and that you don't have any water entering the, uh, the exterior panel box. So let's uh, go close out this video and, uh, and recap everything that's all today. So for 2005 property, a few thousand dollars in repairs is pretty typical in home inspector world. Um, we know right off the top of the bat we need two water heaters, that's going to cost you about $2,000 whether you replace that with two uh, tank water heaters or one tankless water heater. It's going to be about the same price uh, whichever way you decide to go. Um, and that's just what we know uh, besides turning the water on and finding any other plumbing issues once they get the water turned on to the property. We know the panel box needs some repairs. We've got uh, water entering the panel box and damaging some of the breakers and causing rust and corrosion. And so we're gonna recommend to, that to be re repaired. Replace a whole panel box is between $12 and $1,500. And then we lucked out today, the AC system is brand new, so we don't need to replace any of the parts. We just need to give it a, a good charge of Freon, about $250 worth uh, to get it running and cooling properly going into the summer seasons. Uh, on a home typically of this age, you might need to replace the AC system, which would be much more costly. So we avoided a big cost with the AC system today, just needs a charge of Freon. Uh, if you like the information in this video, please like and share and uh, check out the A Action YouTube channel. We've got lots of great information on home inspections, home finds, and uh, cost to repair things. Hope you all have a great day. Take care. Alright, so we're gonna do it this time. Hey everybody, uh, today I'm gonna... Hey everybody, today I'm gonna uh, walk...